to graduating from high school. But when you ask them about graduate licensing, they have a completely different response. In 2010, Indiana switched to graduate licensing. Some of the changes included are waiting until you're 16 and a half to get your license, and to have passengers, you have to wait six months. I interviewed a variety of people affected by these changes. Teenagers don't like the law change. They have to wait longer for their license. They have to hold their permit longer. They can't have passengers. A typical teenager can't go on a date now with, a, with a somebody until he, she's, she or he's 17 years old. Certainly different from what our parents experienced when we took, when we got our license. What's happening is it's something called graduated licensing. Teenagers aren't going to like this. I don't think that it's fair that we should have to wait until we're 16 and a half. We should get to have our license when we are 16 because it's not fair to the people before us who got to have it at that age. And plus, I mean, I really don't think that six months really makes a difference. I don't want to have to wait until I'm 16 and a half. We lose anywhere to 15 to 18 teens a day dying in car crashes. That's unacceptable. It is the number one cause of death for teenagers. There's no question about it. When you look at you know the leading cause of death for teenagers is driving, driving crashes. Um, Four thousand teens die in car crashes each year. It's figures like that that's hard to argue. I get this from Chicago Tribune. Is what happened in the state of Illinois? They went to graduate licensing a couple years earlier than us. So let's give some back statistics. In 2005, 181 teens died in car crashes. In 2006, 187 teens died in car crashes. Now we're talking about 180 families who were affected. They had to bury their son or daughter. A mom has to pick out a dress to bury her daughter on. That's unacceptable. 10 years ago, I had a personal experience with, I was working midnights and I had to uh, go to a family that I knew um, at four in the morning, wake them up and tell them that their 17-year-old daughter was killed in the car wreck. 2007, 184 teens. It was not uh, the most pleasant experience for me, and obviously I ruined a parent of families, gave them the worst news they've ever heard in their life. In 2008, the very, very first year of graduate licensing, 98 teens. Again, you don't have to be a rocket scientist to see that. We cut it in 50 percent, half percent. 2009, 92 teens. Why does it work? It protects like teenage drivers, passengers, and it gives us more time to become experienced drivers. Experience. We don't want, I don't want a heart doctor who's only, I'm going to be his very first patient that he's going to cut open. I want somebody who's done it five or six or seven or hundreds of times. Some teenagers are immature and they'll pile all their friends in the car and They'll have some distractions on the road that they're not usually used to if they don't like have that extra time to practice driving. Five months of maturity at this age is an amazing deal. 92 mothers have to see their son or daughter in a casket. Totally unacceptable. We'll never get to zero. We know that. It's unrealistic. But we have cut it in half. Picture your friends. Who are you willing to lose tonight in a car crash? Would it really be worth it to lose a lifetime of memories just to get your license a few months earlier?